What's going on guys, Cho SFM here taking a look at Burn Drive Genesect in the new Fantasy Cup. Guys, I actually really enjoy this meta. It is a lot of fun. If you don't know, it's limited to Fairy, Dragon, and Steel types. A lot of people running Steel types because it still does beat Dragon and Fairy generally. Um, so with that being said, something with the fire type attack is gonna have a lot of play. Plus, it does resist. The dragon type attacks, it also does super effective to fairy types since it has magnet bomb on it. And I have a lot of success with it. In my first four sets with it, I went 18 and two. Really, it should have been 19 and one. I completely threw one game in the first set. Um, yeah, I, I literally had the charge move ready to go and I just didn't throw it. So whatever, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, I do think that Genesect with the burn drive has a lot of play in this meta if you have one. Maybe give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and jump into some of these battles. Yes, I am in a new recording space. Some of y'all are probably wondering. Uh, yeah, I'm moving recording spaces. This is still a work in progress, but we're going to make it work for now. Hopefully it'll improve. It'll look a little bit better in the upcoming videos. All right, let's get it going. Leave a like, leave a comment. Magnet Bomb coming out. Going to grab a shield from the floor. Just, yeah, Genesect like just going off in this one. Make it to another Magnet Bomb. This would be hitting for super effective damage. They do have to throw up a shield right here. I still have a uh, <laughs> Tapu Fini with a Moonblast ready to go and a full health Escavalier. So I'm going to be throwing the Moonblast here. They are going to be throwing their energy as well. I got a choice to make. Either I can go for the three Pokemon Flex or I can go for the two Shield Flex. I just have to go for the two Shield Flex. I'll just come in and I'll counter down with Escav. We don't really care about anything that Floor just can throw. Uh, everything is going to be resisted. It's going to be the Disarming Voice. We get the counter down and that's going to be GG's. Well played to my opponent. All right, jumping to the next one. Tapu Fini against Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is the most common lead that I saw when I was playing my battles today. Um, and I don't really want to see this thing on my back two Pokemon. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we get some chip damage first. Uh, so I'm going to bait. <laughs> I'm okay with playing out the one shield, the two shield, whatever shield I need to play out. Uh, but they do throw up a shield on the surf bait. I'm going to also respect what they throw. Actually, most Tapus did not bait me back. Most were throwing the Moonblast. This one did bait me back. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to build up and I'm going to bait again. Um, we'll see if they want to throw up their second shield. If they let this go through, I could just start pumping out serves. It's actually fine. They do decide to throw up a shield. I think I match shields. I do. I do. They're going to throw the Moonblast here. It means I have an energy lead. I will be able to outpace to the next Moonblast serve. It's not going to be lethal from this range. I'm going to over farm a little bit and then throw the Moonblast. They could have got off a surf there. It wouldn't have taken me out, so it would have been fine. Out comes a Registeel. This is why we got the Burn Drive, right? We can we can Techno Blast. It, it's going to do a ton. They do swap out into a Flygon, Shadow Flygon. Actually really highly rated in this cup and actually probably the Pokemon I'm going to be trying out next. Um, Flygon did get a new move update. It does have Boom Burst now, but I don't think you ever want to run Boom Burst on it, to be honest. Like, you need Dragon Claw as a bait move, and you need Earth Power because of... Earth Power is really good. <laughs> uh, anyways, they take out... They do come in with the Registeel. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw it. Like, Genesec took out that Flygon, no problem, and Registeel comes in. All we gotta do is make it to the Duron. They do get the attack drop, meaning the Duron's not gonna be lethal. Uh, even without it, it wouldn't have quite been lethal. So I'm going to swap to clear the debuff and force them to throw some energy here on Tapu Fini. The one more counter, I throw the Duron. I thought it would be lethal from this range. Must have a pretty good IV Reggie still, because they do survive with one HP. That's fine. With the one more counter, and that's gonna be GG's well played to my opponent. All right, jumping into the next one. See, yeah, let me get some water. We got a Magnezone lead. I see swapping the Genesect and they bring out a Scavalier. Cool. We're gonna go for the one shot. We're going straight for the Techno Blast. Let's see it. And yes, goes unshielded. We one shot the Escav. My opponent does not want to see fire types because they have a third steel type in the bag with Lucario. And we're easily going to make it to this next Techno Blast. So we not only got switch advantage, we also get shield advantage. Down goes my Genesect, in comes Tapu Fini. We're going to be honestly not respecting anything. A Shadow Ball is not going to one shot. They do throw the power up punch bait first. I'm still not respecting this. Shadow Ball might one shot from here, 
But if it does, I just counter it down and it doesn't even one shot. So we're fine. I throw the surf immediately. They do make do make a really nice catch onto their magnet zone. But that's fine by me as well. Because I can come in with my Escavalier. I can shield once and counter all the way down. I'll leave with energy to threaten that um whatever the third part. I already forgot. I already forgot what it was. Um yeah, Lucario. Uh, all we gotta do is get to back to back drill runs, but they recognize I can actually just counter down. So GG's will play to my opponent. Let's go. Alright, into the next one. Another Tapu Fini mirror. I did cut some of them out, but there was a lot of them. Um, so Tapu Fini mirror. We're gonna play it the same way. We're gonna be baiting, putting up to the moonblast. You wanna throw it as soon as you get the moonblast. Um, because otherwise it's kind of obvious that like you didn't know when to throw it. It's probably a bait. They catch it on ready still. That's fine. We're going to actually build up to the next serve and then come in with, with Escap. I can tank any one move. Not comfortably. It definitely hurts. But we can tank one move. Right? Puts us into the yellow. Not even into the red. So not too bad. They do not get the attack drop, which is really nice. Because now this draw run will be lethal. I am going to be throwing it here. And my opponent is going to be letting it go. Expect Tapu Fini to come in and go for the farm down. We're going to be going for the Mega Horn. It is resisted, but it does do slightly more damage than the Drill Run. Since I'm only getting one move off, I might as well go for the harder hitting move. Puts them nearly into Surf Range. Not quite. I come in, I try to throw my Surf immediately. It didn't show up. It really doesn't matter. It wasn't going to KO. Um, so, yeah, it, it wouldn't have mattered. I throw one Water Grind, then I throw the Surf now. You're going to see it, it, it doesn't take out. It does not take out just yet. Uh, puts them into the red. And at this point, I'm respecting the Moonblast. See, so it would have kind of mattered if they went straight Moonblast with the first one, but I was able to call it. Anyways, in the back, Shadow, Alolan, Sand Slash. Very interesting pick for this meta. Hard walls, the dragons, um, and pretty good against the fairies. Doesn't necessarily want to see most steel types. Coming in with Genesect, I am going to respect the Bulldoze. It's not going to one shot, but I figure they're probably going to throw it the first time. What if I go for the Magna Bomb? Magna Bomb does hit for neutral. It's their last Pokemon. They got a shield. And they know a shield. And that might win them the game. It might win them the game. Because now they're going to connect with the Bulldoze. Shadow Claw is definitely doing more than Fury Cutters, but we get we take them out simultaneously. Thank goodness. If they get the farm down there, they get the Ice Punch off, might lose that game. It was very, very close. I right, enter the next one. Reggie still lead. Definitely not something you want to see on Tapu Fini. So I will be swapping out into my Genesect. We're staying in. I'm ready to go for this Techno Blast. And they do not catch. Beautiful. Let's see if they expect this damage. They do. They throw up a shield. Disappointing, but it's all right. We can tank any one move here. It does like 74%, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I know it's like, oh, I believe. Yeah, no, it does 74%. I looked it up in the Sims. Um, so in comes a Flygon. They are going to be able to mud shot down, but I will get off a Magna Bomb, which does quite a bit of damage. We get them into the yellow. Uh, but this battle is actually what really got me thinking about Flygon. This battle right here. Because they get to this Earth Power. I'm going for the farm down. They were already in the red. They get to another Earth Power. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. This thing is crazy with energy. And y'all know I've hit I've hit page one of the leaderboard of Flygon in the Ultra League, so I'm definitely gonna be trying it out. I'm definitely gonna be trying it out. Um, all right, Reggie still comes in. We are going to answer with a Scavalier. I don't think their switch clock would have been up just yet, so I do go for the drone right away. We'll see if they want to throw up their second shield. They do not. Really interesting play. You would think they'd want to keep this healthy for my Tapu Fini. Uh, I guess Tapu Fini is pretty much gone, though. How comes a Gramble? Running Snarl, not Shadow. I'm going to be throwing my Juron. Um, maybe I should try to, like, CMP tie them when they throw a close combat. That was going to be tough to do. So I throw the Juron immediately. They let it go, and they survive. They're in the yellow. Close combat comes through. They're already at the second one. Only seven Snarls. Crazy how quick they get there. But we survive. In comes Tapu Fini. We're going to be able to water gun down. We do have a Surf ready to go. We're going to throw that because we also have a Drill Run ready to go on a Scavalier. Uh, so that's going to be grabbing the shield. And as long as my button shows up here, I'll be able to throw the Drill Run. That's going to be a GG's. Well played to my opponent. Let's 
go! Let's go, let's go. Um, so really tough lead there, able to overcome it. Honestly, like even the Shadow Grample was just scary in the deck. I wasn't sure if I was winning that still. All right, we get a positive lead here. Giratina, you saw I the Mel Metal. Uh, I actually saw a few Mel Metals today. Yes, there's a little bit of hype around it with the new event. Uh, I'm not buying a ticket personally. I don't think it's really worth it for the Double Iron Bash. Double Iron Bash just doesn't look that great. And it's just $5 that I can save. So, you know. <laughs> We're going to throw the drawer in there to force the shield. They're going to be throwing another rock slide. I'll throw up a shield as well. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit hot in here. I got to figure out a way to get some air in here before I start doing this all the time. Um, we're going to go with the next draw in. That way they have to throw up a shield if they want to grab my shield, which they do want to do. Mm, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm definitely going to keep alignment here. Don't really want my Genesect on that Giratina. Now, if they're running Dragon Breath, which they are, it's actually not that bad for Genesect. But most are going to be running Shadow Claw. I didn't know what they were running whenever I was going into this battle. And they were fighting hard for Switch, telling me they probably have a pretty solid answer for Tapu Fini. Uh, didn't make it to the second draw run, unfortunately. We were one turn too short. They do leave with quite a bit of energy. They're going to be running Ancient Power. No boost on the first one, thankfully. They have quite a bit of energy here. So they're going to be throwing a second Ancient Power right here, which will be putting Tapu into the yellow. Perfectly fine, though. I'm already at the Moonblast. I overform just a little bit in case they were going to try to catch. And then I do throw the Moonblast. Blast, of course, takes out. In the back, going to be a Magnet Zone. You already know this game's over. This game is over. We just got to make it to this Techno Blast, and this Magna Zone is going to vanish. <laughs> this is going to like one shot like five Magna Zones, probably. Um, but GG's well played to my opponent. Let's go. I tap into Ferrothorn. So, another really tough lead. Um, seen a little bit of hype around Ferrothorn for this cup. I do swap out into my Genesect, and I lure out another Escap. Now, I make a mistake. I don't throw immediately. I can survive this draw run, but I want to be able to get to two and like force both of their shields off them. Like I really want to fight for switch here. I think I threw a bad timing. I think I kind of went through right there. But I throw the first one, grabs the shield, and make it to the second one as I'm making it to the Techno Blast. Now I don't know who in CMT. I didn't want to throw an alignment there. I do throw up a shield. I'm gonna go for the Magnet Bomb. I was thinking, please. Please let me get the Magnet Bomb and then the Techno Blast as well. You guys see, I just don't. We just fall short. Um, not even to double Magnet Bomb, so that's unfortunate. But at least we did grab both shields. So at this point, Tapu Fini is pretty much useless. We're going to only do resisted damage to that Ferrothorn. Uh, they're going to be doing only super effective damage to my Tapu. So we're just going to use it as a damage sponge here. I'm going to soak up these draw rounds. I'm going to build up to the Moon Blast, and then I'm going to swap to my own Escap and counter down. I get one counter. That's it. Just one. Thankfully, they have a second steel type in the back, Lucario. Now, I throw the draw on immediately. They make a really nice catch. Uh, probably should have anticipated it. I did not. But I think that I'm still going to be okay. We'll have to see what charger move they're running. This is Thunder. It's going to do a lot. I don't think it'll one shot and the bullet seeds are double resisted. They're not going to be doing much. Flash cannon. All right, we survive. We need three bullet seeds to the next move. So I will be throwing my Juran after three. I'm only one counter away from my next Juran, meaning that Lucario has to come in and they have to throw their energy immediately. It's going to be a power up punch. Not the strongest move, but enough to take out Escav. And that's fine because I got a Moon Blast ready to go on this Tapu Fini. And that will easily take out this Lucario. So, GG's well played to my opponent. That's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed yeah, excuse me. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're running. Have you tried out the Fantasy Cup yet? Are you playing Open Grey League? Curious. Um, I think I'm gonna play another day of the Fantasy Cup and then maybe we'll go back to Open Grey League. I don't know. Like I, I already have strong teams out for the Open Grey League. The meta hasn't shifted, so you could I'll put some in the comments down below if you look or if, if you're looking for a strong team. I'm going to wrap it up here because I'm losing my words. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to my channel members for your support. And until next time, this is Trust FM reminding you to always keep pushing forward.